Hi everyone, welcome back to the Thrifty Jewel. I have a thread up rescue box unboxing to do for you today. That's a mouthful to say. I haven't done a video in a few weeks. I have been working really hard on my low carb food channel that I have just started not too long ago and it's growing very quickly. If you wanna go over and check that channel out and show me some love, I will link it down below. Today I'm doing this unboxing. I have been trying to snag a thread up rescue box for a while and every time I go onto the website, they are sold out. I have had some credit to spend for some things that I sold on ThreadUp and I've been watching and finally I was able to get a rescue box. I ended up getting the 25 clothing item box and it was $60 with free shipping but it really didn't cost me anything because I used my credit. So I have the box right here for you and lift it, it up. It came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box and start showing you what I got. I have been running low on inventory and I haven't had a lot of time to um, stock up on inventory. So I really need this box. I'm really excited about it. I hope it's a good one. And here is my invoice. And like I said, it's the 25 piece clothing box and $60. And so I'm excited to get some new inventory. I am hoping that I've got some good name brands in here to resell. And you know what? I'm going to put this down on the floor, actually, because I think I can get at it better. Sorry about all the angle changes. All right, so I'm going to put on my glasses. This is Intimately Free, size small, and looks like a little nightgown or dress the ruffle on the bottom look at the back on this it's got the like um is that like a razor back it feels really nice it's a nice material sort of like a burgundy wineish color and we have old navy active elevate leggings and these are a similar color to that nightgown the size tag has been cut out of these which is one reason why Items go into a rescue box from ThreadUp. They do not accept items that have no size tags on them. So I don't know how I'm going to do these. I might have to do some measurements and try to figure out the size. They look like they are a small, but you know leggings, they are stretchy, so it's kind of hard to tell. This, oh, we got a London Fog here. And this is like a windbreaker jacket. I'm not seeing a size tag anywhere on this either. I'm gonna try this on. Okay, this is probably like a medium. Cause I'm wearing like a large now. It looks like it may fold into a pouch and be like one of those traveling jackets. So I'll have to do some research on that one. I see an Under Armour logo here. And this is a tank top. And this is, looks like a medium. Just an active wear, green ribbed tank top. And a jacket, a red velvet jacket. And this is by Laundry. This is by Shelly Seagal. I have sold this brand before. They probably got rid of this one because it is not in season. So it's a really cute jacket. So I'll probably hold on this until the fall time. And this looks like another active wear shirt. This one, the label has been cut out and I can tell by the fleece inside of here that this uh, shirt has been worn quite a bit. So this will not be going up for resale. So I'm gonna put this in a different pile. A, ooh, okay, so I've never sold this brand before. Sport Max, made in Italy. Things made in Italy usually go pretty well. So just a cute little dress that I'm gonna to have to research. And here's another shirt I can already tell. This is Sparkle and Fade. I can already tell that it has a lot of peeling on it. And so this one here is probably gonna be a donate item. That's two items so far. Now, again, I have to go over these items. 
once I get them under the lights and everything and I have to look for like stains or missing buttons or rips or holes. So I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to resell this pile that I'm putting over here. CES Femme. And this looks like a dress. This is really cute. It's like a blue, kind of feels like it's got this ruffle on the bottom. Kind of feels like it's linen or maybe like a rayon. And this does not have a size or a fabric tag in it. Like a little shift dress. And this is a jacket. Denim. Oh, this is a Free People. Size 6. And this is a denim jacket with zippers. And we have a turtleneck sweater which will probably be the jacket and the other jacket and the sweater will probably be listed later on. This is the limited extra small and just a long cowl neck sweater. This is, let's see here. This is Lululemon. That's good. This is just a little tank top. And we have a denim blouse. This is Sadie and Sage. I don't know, is this like a boutique brand? I don't know. Sadie and Sage. And it looks like the size tag might be missing on this one as well. It's like a cold shoulder type blouse. Here, cute, this is really cute. I might even keep this for myself. <laughs> I have to try it on. And then this is another workout top. This is like an active wear box, even though it wasn't labeled active wear. Um, let me see what this is. Oh, this is Fabletics. You can tell by the little logo here. Fabletics is a good brand to resell. This is a Razorback tank top. So this is a good score here. I like the little mesh. Um, detail in the back goes all the way down the back that's really cute and then this is a collared blouse Wagner I think I've seen this brand before it looks like an expensive label I have to look it up though Wagner or Bogner and just a cute cotton blouse button down long sleeve this is a leather, I don't know if it's leather, kind of feels like a faux leather. It's soft, but this is George Zurich. Anybody ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. Let me button it up here and show you what it looks like. Some of the buttons are a little loose on it, so I may look into tightening those up. I'm not sure if I want to put that effort into it, depending on what the brand is. Again, doesn't smell like real leather. It's probably faux leather, but it's cute. And I need to look at the buttons and see if um, they're easy enough to tighten up. I can sew pretty good. So there have been a lot of items that I have um, mended over the years and resold. Oh, this is good. Current Elliot. This is really good. It's a small size though. It's a zero. This is a cotton sleeveless top it's buttoned down and current elliot is a really good brand to resell basic black it's got like the raw hem um sleeves here and so and another pair of leggings i don't know what brand this is oh this is fabletics as well let's see where's it at right there fabletics black leggings got this cute little let me see if I can put my hand inside here it's got this cute little like lacy detail on the calves of the legs so it's a nice pair of leggings and prana that's great we got a prana size small little blouse sleeveless blouse that's a good brand to resell prana does good 
looks like it has little pockets in the front too, so that's a bonus. We have a skirt, or yeah, this is a skirt, a line, Banana Republic size zero. And just a basic black A-line skirt. And a pair of jeans. Oh, these are good. These are Everlane. Really good pair of jeans, hopefully. Good size, too. I'm making sure the zipper works. I have gotten them with broken zippers before. But I just seen that the hem is coming out of this skirt. The uh, Banana Republic skirt, it has a long, very long string. And because of the brand, I'm probably just going to donate that because <laughs> I'm all wrapped up in this string. So these Everlane jeans look like they are really nice. I see some stains. This is a sweater. And this is Zara which is a good brand, but I was looking as I was pulling it out of the box, it has these cute little ties on the sleeves and I saw what looked like maybe coffee, a coffee stain or something like that. This probably will be a donate item. I see flannel, this is a flannel shirt and this is Polo Ralph Lauren, blue label. This is a medium and just a nice cotton plaid flannel shirt. I like flannel shirts, so I may end up keeping this one. Oh, this is a really good one. This is Patagonia. This is really good. So this is a vest, and this is a size small. I would prefer to have the bigger sizes, but I'll take it. Patagonia is an awesome brand to resell. So overall, I think that this box is really good. So this is Rip Curl, and this is a cardigan sweater. This is a size large hooded cardigan with little fringes at the bottom. This is really cute. And let me see. I am into a size large now. This is cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but just wanted to try it on. And it's like gonna be triple digits today outside, so I am not gonna be wearing this. I'm so excited because the last six months I have been doing a low carb diet. It's sort of a keto diet, but it's not strict keto. And I have lost 22 pounds, but not only that, I have experienced amazing health benefits. I feel great and I have autoimmune issues and I've had a lot of joint pain for the past few years. And since I've been doing this diet, my joint pain has just gone away. And my migraines that I used to have, I haven't had a migraine in six months. It's just amazing. You can go check out my other channel, check out my videos and see more information on that. But I'm so excited because I am in a size large now. I was in a size 1X and 1Xs were starting to get a little snug. You know what I'm saying? I am now down to a large and I'm so excited about that. And I'm so excited that I tried on this large sweater and it fits. So just thought I would throw that in there. This is Charlie Page. And I'm not sure, is this a mall brand? I think this is a mall brand, maybe like Buckle or somewhere. I'm not sure. But these are a plaid pair of pants, size medium. These um, look like these would be good for fall and winter. So these probably won't get listed until then either. But that is the end of my box. It's all empty here. I only have four items that I'm for sure gonna donate. The other items, like I said, I have to go through them and check for flaws and all that and make sure that they're okay to resell. I think this is a really good box that I got from ThreadUp and I was really happy that I finally was able to snag one. So that is all I have for today for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. 
If you're interested in a low carb diet, if you have autoimmune disease or migraines or anything like that, go over and check out my channel and hopefully some of my tips can help you out. I am so excited about how fast the channel is growing. So that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.